Does this seem familiar to you? Well, it should. And hopefully, my mic isn't uh, completely terrible, because I'm at my parents' house right now. Uh, but it's December, you know what that means, baby? It's time for- Oops! Who's this little silly fella? That's not my main character, this is! So, uh, like the past two weeks or so, I've been- I've been using some free time to play Musketeer, and, uh, they- he fucking sucks, I hate Musketeer. In fact, I will kill him. Live. I'm going to kill my last- here, hold on, actually, you know what, before we kill him, before we publicly execute him at the beginning of this episode, uh, say hello to him and everything he's done. Here's all of his little, all of his cool shit. Nothing, nothing interesting. He's he's this shit character. I I mean, I sure did try, but he is wholly uninteresting. Sorry, sorry, Tiny Roxy, you will be uh fucking executed in a second. Your timelines will be burned, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, who gives a shit? Look at look at my little buddy. He's gonna die. Oh well. Yeah, let's go back to character selection real quick, and let's fucking kill him. I want him dead. Type the word yo ho oh shit yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Bye. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. He's dead. See now, I'm, here's the thing. I haven't touched this account in months. But I did touch it since we last played, so I actually have zero fucking idea what or where I'm supposed to be going. But, no, I, you know, I got no but. I, I actually have nothing. Uh, nah, shit's just fucked. I do remember how the characters and everything play together. I feel like... I, I, I still gotta stick with my, my boy. Uh, let's check baby Rocco. How's my boy? My little, my little fucking angel here. Hell yeah, bro. Get you to do more, uh... I don't fucking know. What do you want to do today, bud? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you got? Right for me. This shit? I've still never done a fucking... thing yet. Like, I have still yet to care enough. I sure will do that. Um... Let's go. I don't, I don't know what kind of like. I, I think I was grinding for a bit to get uh, levels, but I also don't know what the fuck I was looking for. I have I have actually no clue. I haven't touched this in so fucking long. So anyway, welcome back, gamers. I know it has been a a hot zesty minute. In fact, it has been approximately a year minus a month uh, since we have done this. Yeah, I remember I was fucking around here for a bit, just grinding. I don't know. Did I level up since last time? I doubt it. Level 43, we got my boy El Toro. We're gonna... Oh, I, I no, I know exactly what's happening here. Okay, also, uh, shit. Your Honor, fuck. <laughs> I, I actually did start rec I really just don't want to fucking deal with this, man. If I flee... Hold on. If I flee, go to the thing... Okay, yes. Hold on. Since I put that down over here, since I put that down, I can, there we go, do this, and then just warp back. Oh, it's going to take me a minute, but that's fine. That's fine, because it gives me time to talk to you, the audience. Uh, and what do I have to say to you, the audience? Nothing specific, but like, you know, sometimes it's just nice to say hello. There's Napoleon's, all this shit, Magnificent Seven. I got to... Okay, so here's all the shit I got. I got to here. No, I got to here. I got El Toro unlocked, as in I got the, the cutscene unlocked. And then uh, and then he's, he's been deleted off the face of the universe. But, you know, he deserved it. And a little bastard wanted to be one of the worst... I... I why, why aren't you... Go scavenge, little bastard. Um, I personally don't like Gunner. And so I was like, I'm going to force myself to use literally nothing but guns. And it was the worst fucking experience I think I have ever forced upon myself. Like, I I sat and I spent hours of, of, of like, my free time 
playing with those stupid fucking guns. And they're just not good. Like, they just, they're unaffect, they're ineffective. They're, they're so fucking annoying. And if you don't have good companions, I think the Musketeer has the highest, I don't want to say skill ceiling. That is definitely not the fucking word I'm looking for. Um, I, I suppose dependence and reliance on how good it can be. Like, it can be good. I've seen good Musketeers, but you need to, like, entirely rely on companions. And buffs. It's basically what we're doing with, um, fucking, what's this nut? This guy, Peter Quint. How we just super buff him up and then just let him fuck shit up. That's basically what you have to do for yourself when you play, uh, when you play Musketeer. Which is annoying, because it's not a, hold on, let me turn on my volume and shit, because it is, uh, quite a shit. Yeah, it's just not, it's just not good. Like, I, am not the best when it comes to strategy. I, I think we all know this by now that I am a wholehearted believer in just fucking bashing your head into a wall uh, until something works. Trust me, I'm all for that shit. Yeah, and seeing that I gotta go down here and do this little fight. I remember last time I did this, I don't know if I ever uploaded the video or not, but it fucking crashed. I got through this fight. I got through this fight, went to collect a chest, and then it immediately crashed. So let's hope it doesn't do that, actually. And then we'll have, uh... Yeah, go fuck this guy up, right? No, this one's the most health, so we'll... Yeah, fucking... See, they're really annoying when they're on the enemy team, right? Like, if they're gonna shoot you on the enemy team, they're, they're the fucking worst. But when you have to actually play as them, I, I don't feel bad about getting shot anymore. I think the only real thing is, um... What is it called? The, the one... Outlook, I think. The the ability that when something walks into your range, you fucking shoot them, you know? I think that's a really good ability to just casually have on something. But the fact that to have that ability, you have to be sacrificing the ability to properly... Like, I like... Bar I, I like, um... It's not Barbarian. Holy shit. Dude, I have not played this in for Buccaneer. I haven't played Buccaneer. Or I love Buccaneer. And I love Swashbuckler. Because they have movement-based abilities. You know, it feels good to play them. On the other hand, I'm like, sure, if I sit my ass in a corner, I've got enough specialty bullshit that I can just sit there and fucking pepper them from, like, 100,000 feet away, right? Like, that's the thing I can do, but who gives a shit? Or, I could be this fucking unit, run across the goddamn thing, and just absolutely obliterate everyone's asshole. You know? It's the funniest shit. And and that's why I, I think that's the epitome of why I fucking hate Bonnie Ann, that little fox that little fox bitch that you get, like the first or the second companion you get, that little gunfucker. That's why I hate her. It's cause all she I mean, I guess another good thing about a uh, ranged unit is is sometimes, not always, but sometimes they have very good support and uh sometimes healing abilities, which is nice. Except for the fact that I can also fucking get healing abilities and shit like that. And believe it or not, when you have fucking 2,000 health and you hit, like, a truck and nothing can fucking hit you like that. Like, look at this shit. I'm a one-man army over here. They just can't fucking touch me, right? Isn't that so much better than just hiding like a little bitch across the map? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little salty bitch, bitch boy. And, uh, and, and people actually enjoy that. In which case, uh, let me know. I, I would actually love to know if somebody just sat there and, and like, everyone's like, oh, no, no, no. My favorite fucking thing to do when playing a game is to hide. I mean, I guess there are certain games where you can get away with that, right? Like, I don't think anyone's going to be upset if you're fucking, you know, sitting there playing a game. Like, uh, oh god, what's a good game that's good for sniping? Or something like that. I guess, like, Borderlands. No one can really blame you if you if you want to take the stealthy, you know, play Borderlands 2 or something, you know, you play Zero. You play Mordecai, you play... Who's the sniper for... Uh... Borderlands 3. I don't know, I have to do the no-gun run again. That's another thing I plan on bringing back in December. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. 
Look at how like cool this is. Look at how fun this is. As they're just doing hundreds and hundreds of damage over and over again. Right? If I was a gun guy, he would shoot once. Gun guys are good when fighting other gun guys. I think is a good way to put them. But if you're if it's a melee versus shooting, melee wins. But if it's a shooting versus a shooting, you've got good shit going, right? So I guess it's fine for like a balanced team, right? I don't have a balanced team. I have a fuck shit up team. And my fuck shit up team uh isn't the best or well thought out. It is just incredibly, this is fun, I like this. I think the only thing I actually gave a shit about was getting Peter Quint. Like that, I think that was the only thing that happened when I looked at a, uh, fuck it, I'm gonna heal myself then. You, you guys fucking with them. You guys deal with them. I'm gonna go, e uh, get a bird. What, what is this? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Why is there a fucking bird that kamikazes into you and you become healed? Like it's not like the it, it it's not like it like gives you something or like the bird gives you like a little kiss on the forehead and it's like let, know, let there be light or some shit. It just runs head first. Okay, so let's see if I make a crash. Okay, where's the there it is. Anything interesting? Ooh, I can. Huh. Hmm. Is it worth it to lose? No, because I like the strength. I'm not gonna lie. It's not even the weapon damage. It's just the fact that strength really helps me uh, get all my... There we go. All my funny uh, abilities to work better. Which is cool. Oh, I get to fight more, more ninja pigs. And the samurai. So, if anyone remembers what's happening in the story, by the way, uh, feel frizzity free. What's this do? Oh, they're all... Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Why not? And then we'll go... We'll have you fuck him up. Why not? Uh, but yeah, especially in something like this, like right here, this would absolutely suck if I was a musketeer, right? Close quarters? I'm fucked. And even with some of the, uh, like enormous maps, like there are some ridiculously large battle maps for no fucking reason, but they do exist. And even there, it's not. I, I've yet to find a, a reason or a scenario in which having a musketeer or, or some kind of gun uh, is better in this game. And who knows? Maybe I haven't run into it yet. Maybe there's like a whole... I don't know. Because even in scenarios where you think he would be good, like uh, like when there's barricades and shit everywhere, or when there's a lot of enemies, he just they just do so little fucking damage. That it just actively does not matter. And it's it's annoying. Don't get me wrong. But like. I just don't get why. Okay hey can you not fucking die down here dog? I just looked over and you're at 400 health. Uh, anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. Yelling into the void. Who knows. But it is nice for me to be back. And uh, playing this game. I fucking love Pirate 101. I hope, I'm hoping, hopefully, hopefully, this year, this, this Christmas, this Chrysal Mice, uh, will be the, come on, kill him, get him, kill him, get him, yes, and then, bonk, bonk, and then Bladestorm. Look at him, look at how fucking good Peter is, man. He's awesome. Anyway. And then, hopefully, there you go, repost, and then Relentless. There you go. And then Relentless again. There you go. Proud of you, kiddo. See, this is why I like I like that. But if he was a gunner, he would have done one shot. Maybe two. Three if he's feeling zesty. And that's it. I'm going to leave him over there. I'm not going to... Uh, I'll let him live his life in peace and luxury. I, however, will absolutely fuck you guys up. Let's get this, and then you come over here and help. Actually, that should be fine. Me and Peter will fuck that one up. We'll... And another thing I like about... Uh, <laughs> this is just going to be me shitting on Musketeer and uh, telling my loves of Buccaneer for fucking an hour. 
what I love, I, I hate, how do I put this? I love the revenge strike ability. It is so fucking good. It's the best. I think I, I personally, if I had to do a tier list, maybe I'll do that later. Maybe I'll do that sometime this year or, uh, or sometime this month. I'll do a, a tier list of every single <laughs> Pirate 101. Uh, oh, no. No! <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, okay, thank God. I was going to say. Okay, buddy. I'm going to heal you. All right? You've earned it. You've, you've, uh... Well, shit. Now I don't want to. All right, well, fine. We'll just kill him. I can't, I can't heal him now. He's got the nice, he's got the funny number. He'll understand. Hey, see, look, I even did the funny number. And then, oh, God. Yes. Yes. Yes, El Toro, yes. Yes. God, I love him so much. And he is not, he's, I, I think I've talked about this before. I guarantee you I have. But he's, like, not a good character. Like, he's very mid-tier. But I fucking love the guy. So I could do this. But then I, I get more armor. Hold on. More armor. More damage? I actually don't remember how damage is calculated for every five points. So it would be one extra point of damage, subtracting three points of damage for the... But with my strength being higher, I'll get more... Huh. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to here. Maybe? It might actually be worth it. What was all this shit? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I think I will. I'll lose out on a little little chunk. Of, oh, but it's twenty two sixty nine. Damn it! But my health is the funny. I'll take I'll take a eight, and so now it should be yeah, sixty five. Huh. Okay. Cool. And now defeat the bronze tiger. Okay. Is I'm gonna go around the fucking spiders. Because the only thing I remember from this dungeon is how much I fucking hate fighting these spiders. But that's alright. You know what would make um, Musketeers really good? Is if they had more options in slowing others down, right? Because you have, like, the trap you can get from Privateer and shit like that. And you get a barricade at some point. But other than that, it's not particularly good. <laughs> It's just a thing that you can do, right? Like, it, it's... It, the barricade has... I, I don't think ever come into a useful scenario in, in the time that I played with the Musketeer. So for, for 23 levels, not once did it come in handy. The trap did. The trap was fucking MVP early game. I'll, I'll pull that one out and I'll say that one. 100%. That little trap ability that you get is so broken early game. It does. It, it kills basically any non-boss, and any boss it knocks down to like half health. Um, so that's cool. But you don't get any aerial denial. You get good. Uh, you get good, good damaging for multiple targets, but you don't get a way to like crowd control. If if you get fucked, you're fucked, right? Okay, hold on. Man. You're. Uh, are they all fucking? Interesting. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm gonna go fuck this guy up here in the corner then. And then you can fuck that one up. And then we'll all have our own little friend. So. Oh, look at that. Look at that ability. Love this guy. Look how cool that is. Right? That's several hundred damage in a round. Oh, anyway. Enough, enough bitching. Back, back to whatever the fuck this is going on. So we're in a cave right now. We are. I'm trying to see what I can remember. I remember we are working for the Yakuza. I think for some fucking reason. I don't remember why we're working with the Yakuza. We just happened to be doing so. I remember. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I remember. <laughs> but now that it's now that it's uh, Desi Ember again, this should be a good. Oh, why are you why are you a bitch? Man, these sound just fucking awful. Like I'm, I, I've stopped talking long enough to hear what's happening. They just have like horrible sounding screams. Like it is awful. <laughs> um, 
Hmm. If I do you, I can go here, here, kill that one, that, here. I want you to go up here, beat the shit out of this one, and you can stay here and fight that one. And hopefully, what I'm hoping happens is you die, you get hit, you take a good chunk of damage. You're not going to die this round, I don't think, unless you fuck up on the attack. Now, I'm hoping this motherfucker dies this turn. If not, that's fine. If so, then uh, let's party. Rock in this house tonight. Yeah, do you guys like... Is that just me thinking that their little fucking squeals are, like, awful? I don't know. But also, see what I meant about the whole surrounding thing? These are all... I guess musketeers for some fucking reason. But they're just not good. Okay, hold there. Attack that one, and then you get that one. So hopefully what's gonna happen... You're gonna be barely alive. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. There we go. No! No! What the hell are you, fool? Oh well, that's fine. I mean, that's... Shit, but like, that's fine. Yeah, fuck him up, Rocco. Yeah, absolute dick punch, man. Ah, it's beautiful. And then, let's just heal myself so that we're topped off. And then you guys just fucking jump him. So you know what's interesting? And the, I think the, the big difference between when I played this game last year and when I played it this year is within the year, I've watched the entirety of One Piece. <laughs> So I'm now entirely... Co oh, already? Really? Yeah, I just don't know. Grit makes it cheer effector when low health, high, medium. I I just don't care. Have you ever considered that? Is that a, is that a thought you've given? Because I can... I just don't know, man. Because I, I, I don't care enough to bother doing the... Uh, Which one of these was that one? Yeah, I, I just don't care enough to to go learn how to do that little fucking mini game. But I could also I could go do it. Like that could be a thing I I go do for. Uh, I don't know if I uh, assuming I finish this game. I don't know how much. Uh, how big is this game? I know Cool Ranch is the big part. Then there's Mushu. I'm pretty sure there's like one or two worlds after this. And again, this for those of you who are new or uh, didn't give a shit about last year. What do you mean, not very impressed? <laughs> I, I like the idea that um, them being... Oh, also, the thing I was going to say was um, it's not consistent. Oh, see? All right, whatever. Um, this isn't a... What was I going to say? Fuck, I completely forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Doesn't matter. Uh, I, I really have no idea what I was talking about. Oh, but, uh, but I, I like that they were completely silent. I, I assume it's because they're fucking ninjas, obviously, right? They're just stealthy, sneaky, whatever. Uh, but I like the idea that they're just like, what the fuck do you mean? Like, they're just offended at the fact. That's another reason I like the... That's cool. Oh, there we go. Fuck yeah. Look at that. This motherfucker tried to attack El Toro. El Toro unscathed this motherfucker half hell. God, I love this game. Anyway, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. But, like, how these two guys over here, they're, uh, ranged units. So they had to run straight up to El Toro and not be able... I wish there was a, like... Oh, fuck, man. I know you can technically get the half-sword, half-gun combo and be able to do that, but I feel like with the regular ass gun, I should be able to run up to you and still fucking blow a hole through your chest. Because it just leads to wasting a turn, right? It's like, oh great, I have to fucking reposition because you're one square away, right? But for Buccaneer, I, if I can hit you once, I'm gonna hit you multiple fucking times, right? It doesn't matter. Look at my, look at this absolute fucking unit go. Love you, Peter. No! 
El Toro, no, I'm sorry. Why are they just, why are they shooting him? What did he do? Get your, get your little accuracy bonus. Uh, you fuck him up. Right, so, that's dead. We're just going to go over here. You kill him, and you do that. Perfect. So, El Toro, I need you to do me one job, which is just fucking kill the guy. Thank you. That's it. Perfect. It's a fucking solved game. They just don't understand it. So I think the next two worlds, if I remember correctly, because I know I did look it up at some point. Shut the fuck up, Bonnie. Oh. Huh? Interesting. I'm glad how slowly he decided to fucking reveal the information. Like, under the assassination is... Oh, no. The ma It's like, dude, just say the fucking mayor! <laughs> also, I know that I can't, but I wish I was just able to warp out of here, because that'd be really fucking funny. <laughs> just like all the other ninjas ready to fucking ambush me, and I'm just like, all right, I'm ready, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get on out of here, kiddos. And then, yeah, whatever, we can... Do I want this one or this one? I want to do this one so that, hopefully, when this motherfucker gets over there, he can wreck shop a little easier. This is the, the buff stage, which, I guess, since it's, uh... If I was a musketeer, or I guess privateer is the entire... I think privateer is based... That's my next one, by the way. I've done every everything except for Privateer and Witch Doctor now. But I'm going to do Privateer next, and then I'll do Witch Doctor. Uh, which I think Witch Doctor also falls into the same issues as Musketeer. If not worse. But, it also has the ability to, like, summon things. It has, it has more options, you know? Um, whereas, if you're fucked in the... If, if you're fucked as a Musketeer, you're fucked. But if you're fucked as a witch doctor, you could potentially pull out some shenanigans, right? You could self-heal, you could pull out friends, you could do whatever, right? You debuff. Musketeer, it's like, okay, cool, they're up in your face now? Well, so, like, if it had, I think, I think two abilities would make it, like, musketeer on par with everything else, and I wouldn't fucking hate it, is if they got in a, like, a teleportation ability. That let them teleport, even if it was just, like, eight squares, right? Like, double movement, and you just teleport, and you get, like, one one round of, like, sneak. I think if that, if you had that at, like, below level 10, I, I honestly think Musketeer would be fine, right? I think that would clear up a huge issue. You'd just be able to teleport into, like, how, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So basically this whole fucking row, right? And then you get like one round of walk in shadows. I think that would be pretty fucking good. Personally. I think that would be and it, stop why are you fucking there you go. Uh you know? Like just something to be able to reposition and like get the fuck out. But it, you just have to sit your ass in a corner and kind of slowly shuffle forward. And if something goes wrong, well then you're fucked. Also cringe. Oh, there we go. Good, 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 good. And then all that's dead. What the fuck? Oh. Sorry. Animals were fucking with my leg, and I got I got a little, a little concerned. I was like, what the hell are you doing down there, boy? Oh, are we going to kill him too? No. Yeah? Oh, shit. Huh. I'll be damned. Ah, oh, love him. You go, my boy. I want a fully sized, <laughs> I want a life sized replica of Peter Quint just in my house somewhere. When I become famous or rich, or rich and famous, whichever happens, I want a, just a giant fucking statue of Peter Quint somewhere in my dining room for no particular reason. He's not even like my favorite. I, I prefer El Toro, obviously. El Toro is my fucking unit. However, Peter. Peter fucks shit up, man. 
absolutely deserves some recognition. Uh, I think everyone else should just... I'll have you attack that one just in case there's some overlap. Yeah, thought so. Now everyone else gets to fuck up this one pig. And then... Uh, it's... He's just so fucking cool. I also love how, despite every other character, and despite him being, like, objectively really fucking good, they, like, don't give him any quests along with his upgrade. Like, how other characters, like, uh, El Toro needed me to go do a bunch of shit in Mushu to get his upgrade, and how... Nothing good. Dinesius. I love how all the things are, like, hidden back here. So you just can't fucking see anything. Uh, Cap of the Mark, Monk, nothing useful. Do I want the health right now? Yeah, probably. Hey, Chopper. What if I just... What if I just didn't care? Can I go... Can I go grab the treasure? Is that a thing I can do? That'd be really nice if you let me. Um, not like... Nothing? Can't throw... Can't throw homie a bone here? I was like... Oof, Prince. That'll be applicable in approximately, uh... 30 seconds or uh or it's gonna be for some fucking side quest and i'll have to come back here go through this whole fucking thing again and it'll... you know how it is yeah fuck it we'll just do this 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 what are you oh you're okay well you're definitely getting hit with the fucking debuff baby <laughs> i do feel bad sending this one I, I wish he had like one buff i could i could have him use but it does feel funny sending him directly into battle. <laughs> Despite him being by far the worst in head-on combat. I, I, no, I guess that's a, not true. I think El Toro would be the worst in head-on combat. El Toro is good at ganging up on motherfuckers. But this motherfucker isn't particularly good at... Oh. Oh, they're just all, all avoiding him. Well, this couldn't have gone better. So a repost and a repel borders. And then we're gonna get like a relentless out of this. Look at my look at them go! Oh, in a second. There we go. Relentless. I love them. And then a first strike. Look, how is he this goddamn good? Blocked again. Holy shit, man. I love him. Look at him. You know what? I I fuck. I take back everything. What the shit? <laughs> almost you almost killed him and holy fuck, man. Alright, anyway, um. You know what? I take back everything I've said. <laughs> Brother, you are you are living your best life, and I'm so sorry for having uh, ever doubted you. I mean, you're going to die attacking anyone, so it doesn't matter, right? I don't, I don't need to worry about this guy. Because all the guys over here, if he so much as fucking breathes wrong, will be instantly slain. So, uh, we'll leave, we'll leave El Toro down here to his own... See, El Toro... <sighs> As much as I love him, he is the musketeer of melee classes. Shows up, does one big old burst of damage, and then does fucking jack shit, unless you're lucky, and then he just goes ham. Pun half intended. Yeah. You know what? Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. Well, you're gonna get vengeance strikes. Okay, well, thank you. That kills you. That's gonna give me Bladestorm to fuck this guy up. And that's going to give me a Relentless. Ooh, yummy. No shit, can I... Oh, okay. Well, that works too. I was going to say, can I kill the, the big guy in one go? That'd be fun. Hey, <laughs> just... Just stab him. What? <laughs> uh, fuck, that's funny. Just a quick once fuck you. I'm going to fuck up. Actually, I'm going to pop this real quick. You go here. I don't want to waste this, so I won't. Because you're going to kill him. He's going to die, right? Especially with this. Just a little extra strength bonus. Delicious. Ah, he's going to... Oh, that's another good point. Now that I have the extra plus eight to... Uh, to strength, whenever I use that, it's a multiplier. So presumably, I'm going to fucking crunked out strength, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, why did why, why revenge not work? And then I <laughs> remembered these guys are uh, musketeer-based class, I guess. Which is... I, I, it's very strange. What's my strength plus? Plus 41, plus 41. So I have, like, over 100 strength. Right? 
I am absolutely fucking shit up. And then I get my, my plus 18 to, to shit and whatnot. <laughs> my, <laughs> you get a plus 18 to shit. That's a, uh, that was such a fucking dumb joke, right? But for some reason, it's just very, very humorous. It's, it's, it's so fucking stupid, it's funny, you know? It's kind of worked itself around. And you know what? If I couldn't have an entire replica of this dude, I'd want his axe. I fucking, I do like his axe, though. I, I will have to say, I like his axe more than the other guy's weapon, uh, El Toro. Like, El Toro's rapier and is cool, and I fucking love his whip. It, it's why I own one. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a little piece of uh, neckbeard lore, I guess you probably didn't know. The The reason... Okay. Anyway. Right. Anyway. I forgot what I was going to say. That's fine. If I go and do this, I can just bypass all that bullshit. Which is good. Yep. Yeah, perfect. And I'll go run, run to my beautiful ship over here. My big-ass lantern ship. Save the mayor. Do all that, that fun jizzity jazz. I also did another background when I uh, did the thing. I, I, I picked a different one of these. I picked the squid attack, and that's where I got that crab guy. I don't know if you were paying attention in the intro. Go back and, and re-watch the entire video again. If you, Why am I here? I didn't... Uh, oopsie doodles. I don't need to be back here specifically, but I'm going to leave this marker here just so that I have one in this uh, skyway. I guess there wasn't a thing here, huh? Oh, well. And then I got to go back up here to the fucking capital, right? Uh, yeah. Hey, 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 bitch. If I remember correctly, you can still fly over this section of land for some strange reason. Up here you can't, but down here you can. Try not to hit anything, because that would be mildly annoying. Hey, finish the thing. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. Fuck them up! <laughs> Just start attacking shit with reckless abandon. Oh, I actually did quite a bit of damage. All right. All right let's go here. Collect. Finish. I don't have any food on me right now. Why do I even bother continuing? He can't level up anymore, I don't think. Unless he literally just did it and I wasn't paying attention. Which is, you know, entirely possible. But Alright, let's go back to Serpent Strike. So I, I want this to be completely maxed out, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get these two maxed out. I will, ooh, I am going the wrong direction. Where am I supposed to go? This way. In the mayor's... I don't know where the fuck the mayor's house is. I right, whatever. I, oh, 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 it's over here. Okay. I was like, I thought I was going the right direction. What the fuck? And then I just passed it because I was being... I was being a goober. And that's okay. You know, you're all allowed to be a little, little giggle guy, you know? Do I not... Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. I have to do... I don't have any of these. Hold on. Are they all in my... house? I think they are. Hold on. I think I can access them down here, but all my mounts are uh, are fucking gone. Anything cool in here? Yeah, here's all the fucking pets I've collected over the the last December. I don't plan on farming again like I did last time, but all right, what do we want to do? Big-ass lobster? Big-ass griffin? I like big-ass griffin. Oh, but he's... Okay, so this guy's fast, so we want something... F oh, very fast. All right, I'm listening. Very fast, Sky Shark, but we did that last time, so I don't want to... I don't particularly wish to double dip. What about this big motherfucker? I always see this guy running around, and I always think he's funny looking, but I just don't care, you know? Like, you can look as cool as you fucking want, but to after a certain level, I just don't give a shit. I think I'm going to use the big-ass penny wagon, because I think it's funny. Sorry, the penny farm. And I'll sell all the shit when I get uh, into town. 
Gibby, gibby, gibby. You bet your ass, as soon as this episode's done, I'm going back to the fucking middle of Skull Island, and I'm just farming. I guess I could go back to Monte Cristo, because I think that's a, uh... What do you do? Oh, no shit! Oh, I never noticed you before! I don't know if you're new or not. You could be. I would have no idea. I've never noticed that before. I can uh, teleport between places, which is so fucking useful. Absolutely love that shit. All right, hold on. Let's go. Let's equip this bitch. Let's fucking go. Oh, I love him. Oh, I love this. Look at it. It's a little... Oh, it's so cool. Look at it. It's beautiful. Me on my way to fuck your shit up. Ah, so cool. Just wondered why. I, I mean, it's probably a very simple thing to look into, but I've always wondered why the first bikes had this big ass fucking wheel in the front. Like, there's no per like specific reason that I can think of that it would would be a good idea to have a really fucking big front tire and a really small back tire, right? I, I guess the thought would be with one pedaled rotation on here, like you push one one time, it makes a bigger rotation, so I guess you could technically go faster. But if, I don't know, it just feels strange to me. And then I guess then they became... That that makes sense, actually, if that's why. And then, yeah, okay, I could see, I could see that being the reason why. And then when they became, when bikes became uh, rear rear pushed or whatever. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that sounds about right. Poor sign. You should have called them the sus assassins, because, uh, the, because I don't know if you guys know this, but it's a, it's a, it's a type of pig. Oh, I can't. Oh, they're just gonna hang out over there, I guess. Uh, what do we got? Shinobi. Okay, you're that Shinobi's gonna be dead fucking instantly, which is fine. But annoyingly, of course. Since everything is a fucking ranged unit, we're gonna kill it easily. But it's not gonna it's not gonna be able to rack up as big a combos, which is while not a, a large issue, is minorly annoying. Yeah, this guy's fucked. Poor, poor, poor soul. Holy shit, 320 in a strike? That's cool. Guys, my fucking glass cannon. Love my glass cannon. Anyway, absolutely gonna fuck some shit up. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, that's fine. Well, let's go down here. I'm gonna fuck you up personally. Uh, I'll let you two work on that shit. You're going over to work with... Yeah, I guess that'll work. You hit that one, and perfect. Everything should work itself out. Because this one's gonna get himself killed by trying to attack. Everything else will fall shortly to my blade. Which, by the way, I gotta say, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, I, uh, I very, it's neat. I forgot, that's another cool ability of, uh, El Toro, is he, he ignores, uh, terrain like that, terrain issues, which is just, it's such a nice thing. Why can't they give that to, Mu that's another ability they should give to Musketeer, right? Give that, like, a level 20 ability or something, or even, like, a level 10 ability, and just make it, you can only cross one gap, like, one, one wide gaps. But it would be so fucking useful. I don't know. I, I, granted, I'm not a, a professional... Uh, <laughs> I'm, prof I'm not a professional uh, Pirate 101 player, but especially not a professional Musketeer player. So for all I know, I'm the fool in this scenario. And there's actually a, a good reason that the Musketeer works how he does. And he's actually the really, really broken... Uh, I'm just a fucking idiot. Right? Entirely possible. Right? But I just don't think so. <laughs> I, I I don't believe it. Do that, and then this one will get himself killed with a uh, repel borders or some other bullshit he's gonna try and pull. 
So I don't have to worry about him. These three are going to get their fucking shit rocked, though. Okay, so what I think is about to happen... No, don't kill him in one go. Oh, shit. Well, I didn't expect to do over 1,100 damage in one turn, so... Uh, fucking oops. My bad. Oops, I did it again. Ow. Rude. Rude times two. But you're dead, so now hopefully you should be able to... Oh, cool. Oh, I thought he has a... Uh... Or he might have already used it. Does he not? Oh, he does have... Huh. Strange. Do this. And then just fuck this guy up. And you hit him once just in case he decides to stick around for some fucking reason. See, like, another reason that a musketeer is fucking useless is because with training points, I can also do the aerial denial, uh, or not aerial denial, the uh, hit bunch of shit. Hold on, guys. Guys, hold on. Guys, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This motherfucker. Hold on. No. Why isn't he... Huh? Why isn't he... He said rife. Is the, the thing. I was trying to have him play it again. He says rife instead of life. Which is so fucking funny. That they put that in this game. It's my rife. Oh. How you said You don't say. Look at this little thing. I like the little lantern on it. I don't... I'm, I'm trying to... Is it... Hold on. I, I'm getting... Too hung up on the technicality of how this fucking bike is supposed to work. Yeah, okay, so it, it, it's connected to the back. But then why is it a back? Free swivel? Huh. I, I, I need to stop worrying about the... We have a really good idea on how to get them to not be an issue. And believe it or not, it's the same thing I've been doing, which is fucking murder them. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, is am I the crazy one for thinking that the obvious solution is to just, just fucking obliterate them? <laughs> right? Get the whole Yakuza to fuck them up. I, I, I like we can get enough people. Easily. Where's the Yakuza cave? It is in the Kohan Skyway. So I got a Kohan. I should be able to leave and then be right next door. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. We haven't... Wait, what? Kohan Skyway. But... Okay, I guess I'll have to buy another thing with, uh, <laughs> with, with, with my... Oh, no. My 44,000 crowns that I've yet to spend. Which is fine, because I need like 100,000, and I think I had like 120. So it's not that big of an issue. Uh, I, 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 I forgot how much more I need to spend. But I do want to eventually buy something cool in the crown shop, right? Because there's a lot of cool... Like, that's where they put all the premium shit, right? Look at this motherfucker. Ooh. Ooh, spooky. And ooh, a sh ooh. Ooh. What is this? 50%. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's actually not bad at all. Crazy miner. It's like all the cool shit's here. <laughs> this guy, I guess. Fucking Mike Tyson. Yeah, because fuck it. All the cool shit. All the cool shit's there. And I want to buy one cool companion or something from the... uh crown shop at some point but they're like also uh st like super fucking expensive obviously you know i could buy one of the no i could buy one of them don't get me wrong i'd still have enough to to do all the shit i just don't have one that i'd care enough to buy right now monterey jack i think he's funny but i don't care enough to use him 
I, this was the first one I bought when I uh, when I first played this game. I bought this guy. He's not particularly good, but I do think he looks cool. And yeah, I don't know. None, none, none of these are particularly interesting. Finn Dorsal, another one that I bought originally. Uh, not good, but not terrible. What is it? Oh, you can buy gold. Oh, you can buy gold here. What's things I can buy with gold? Anything cool? Auspicious rabbit? Oh, you're freaking loud. All right. Uh, I had. When I originally played, I look. I spent a lot of money on this game. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I, I I wasted so much goddamn money on this game as a kid. I bought so many fucking boosters and all this shit. And, but then you see shit like this, and it's like, oh, cool. This is a a cool sword, but like, he becomes obsolete after a couple of levels. Like, just objectively, in two levels, it just becomes the worst version of this. But also, look how fucking dope it looks, right? I don't know. I'll figure something out. If if you're watching this and you're still watching this, put put down in the uh, comment section below what you think I should buy with crowns. I'm thinking a companion, but I don't know who or what. So if if you're for some reason watching this, put down comments comments down below. Uh, stick this back here because I knew this was back here a long, long time ago, and then I, yeah, give two fucking guesses. Yeah, I leveled up. Let's go. Let's party. Let's go. <laughs> huh. Okay. Yo! Yo, that's a cool ass sword. See, another reason that the thing is fucking useless. Alright, so since that is here, since this is here, I'm gonna go do this real quick. I'm going to be a little gamer, if not just for a second, because I think if I check here, I don't have any... Can I see it here, actually? Huh. Seeing if there's a uh, anything cool this motherfucker wants to give me. Got any, got any games on your phone? Got anything fun, Mordecai? Yay! Oh, <laughs> this is... <clears throat> well, that, uh... I mean, not particularly useful, but, like... I have it now. Do I have a training point? No, I don't think so. Uh, I could get one. If I really cared enough, I can get one with... Where is it? It's one of these quests. It's another one of the... What is this thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here. I can do this. Right? But I just don't care. I'll do it when I've unlocked the entire Skyway. Right? Kind of like I've been doing. Uh... That's fine. But now when I go down here, you guys ready? You guys ready for, for, for my favorite thing in the whole wide world? <laughs> Stealing things from poor kids. Let's go. Haggis. Let's go. Let's go fucking free shit. Let's go. How much shit do I have? Holy shit, I have way more money than I thought I did. All right, hold on. Let's do this. Let's go here and then just go. Do you think that's what Mr. Krabs' wet dreams would sound like? It's just fucking cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Come on. There we go. Baby Rocco. Right, he's not gaining experience. So I don't know if he's... I don't know what this, this does, right? He's got his little ability. He's got all this shit. Whatever. I don't know what... Am I fucking stuck? Excuse me. Help! 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 I'm fucking stuck. Why am I stuck? Sir, help me. Simon, please! I'm only a boy. Speaking of which... Uh, let's go do... I really don't have that many abilities. That's another thing that I didn't notice. Uh, or, or that becomes very evident with... Um... 
Where's the greatest? With Musketeer? It's just how many fucking abilities you can you can get. Right? Because even my level 20 had two pages worth of a fucking abilities. So I'm not saying there isn't a, a possible way to uh, work around. Hold on, let's go over here real quick and buy a bunch of training points to fucking juice some bitches. Perfect. Um, yeah, I just don't know. What I'm going to be doing. All right. Time to upgrade all my children. Which I don't think I have enough uh, training points to do so. Hey, but he gets a new talent, though. Hey, yo. What's best for you? More damage, more dodge, I think. I think dodge is best for you. But that means I definitely have to upgrade. I'm sorry. I, I know you're, like, like itching for a fucking new level, buddy. But I, I, I gotta get... There we go. Look at that shit. I can get either accurate, which would probably be pretty cool. Rough, which is pretty cool. Huh. I think I want to do... I think I'm just going to make him a fucking absolute unit. Let's do that. So you get that one level. And now I need to get just a shitload of uh, training points. I think I need like six more. Okay. Well, that should be enough to at least get him to a, a decent, not dying instantly level. But I 100%... Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. So great. Now I'm going to need four fucking... I can't buy any more of those. And rabble. And rabble. And rabble. Coton. And whatever. Whatever. I don't even give a shit, actually. And you know what? I'll deal with it later. Oh, it's fine. Everything. Oh, dude. This. <laughs> Peter, buddy. Peter is just actually fucking crap. Look at this. His abilities go into a separate axe page. Absolutely suited, man. Crunked out of his gourd and other things children say. <laughs> man, I should never. Just never uh, use popular lingo. Because I sound like a fucking idiot every time. And only half the time it's on purpose. B Baby Crunk, is he zested up with the juju? I don't even know what all the fucking... I'm, I've never... Ooh, in this... Okay. Let's, let's do this, and then we'll call it for an episode, right? I feel like that's fair game. So what's going to happen is I'm going to walk into this, and it's going to ask me for fucking crowns. And I'm going to complain, and then we're going to still do it. And then it'll be the end of the episode. And then we'll all have a fine and dandy Christmas. Or we won't. I don't know. I'm not your fucking dad. Where is it? Depth perception is hard. Okay, here we go. It's gonna ask me for the... Oh, you motherfucker. If I get hit with a turtle... You're a piece of shit. You know that? You want? I want you to know, personally. I'm disappointed in you. Well, what could go wrong? They're all privateers, though, but I don't know how privateers... Like I said, privateers is one of the only other classes that I haven't fucking used yet. And, uh... I think privateer would be interesting. Especially if I, I treated it like how I treat with Peter Quint and just buff the shit out of things. But I'll be damned if I'm playing another uh, another game of this shit on 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 uh, on the channel. That's just for me personally. And you know what? I'm just gonna say it because these little bastard turtles wanted to interrupt my fucking my flow, my 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 natural state of essence, and be a little bastard. Uh, we're gonna end the episode after this fight, and you can blame these little turtle beasts of shit. Yeah, fuck them up. Cool. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I, I, I love how just, like... Like, unfazed Rocco is. Also, holy shit, Rocco has, like, more life than both El Toro and Kobe. That's crazy. 
Speaking of Kobe, who's watched the new live-action One Piece? Because I have, and it's mediocre. It's, you know what? I, I wanted to like it, but it's not bad. That's not the words I'm looking for. If you're, if you're holy shit. If you're, like, new to the series and you've never watched One Piece, you can probably watch the, the live action and be fine. The issue I have is less, not that they didn't give fucking Usaba's nose or didn't give Sanji his fucking eyebrows or any stupid shit like that. Though it does annoy me personally. That doesn't matter. It's whatever. It's a stylistic choice. I can live with that. The issue is that they, well, again, they're adapting a roughly 30 episodes of an anime into 10 episodes of a live action. So some shit's cut and some shit's shifted around. But then there are just things that are either completely removed or things that are added for no fucking reason. Like, to spoil for, for anyone who doesn't want to know, just, I don't know, stop watching the video because it's just going to be this fight in my conversation. But um, when, when we go to Usopp's village, Serp village, right? He goes and he... The, he, they're already working on the fucking Mary. The whole point of the going Mary was that it was a gift for like effortlessly or, or not effortlessly, fearlessly saving everyone. Right? That was their their reward. But in the live action, they're like, "This is a cool boat. Let's fucking steal it." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's sure. That's more pirate like of them." But the whole point behind it is that they're supposed to just be good people who happen to be pirates, just kind of mostly for the title than anything else. And, I, again, Nami is pretty much the closest thing in both the live action and the uh, original to, like, a genuine pirate, despite how much she fucking hates them. And I, I'll i say it right now, I fucking hate Nami so much in, in, uh, in One Piece. I, she's just the fucking worst, man. I mean, she's gotten slightly better with time, but, like, I, she still annoys the fuck out of me so much as a character. And that's I like I fucking love Robin. I love Robin and shit. And so it's not a it's not a sexism thing. It's that she's a cunt thing. <laughs> and like I get she's so like I, I get originally why she was super greedy or whatever. It was like the whole still in the mentality of collecting a hundred million berries or whatever the fuck it was for uh you know for Arlong and all that shit. But then after that, she was like still constantly extorting people. She's just like Constant bitch. Even all the way up until Whole Cake and Wano, she's still just the worst. I mean, granted, they also bastardized my my boy Sanji. He's he's gotten worse. He's he's been a bit flanderized since post time skip. Well, that's fine. That's all right. He's while not my favorite anymore. I, I was still pretty fucking annoyed when uh, spoilers ahead, of course. Uh, in Hulk Cake Island, that whole bullshit with the fucking, with him leaving Luffy. Like, if you did that shit pre-time skip, maybe. Right? That's the same shit they did with Arlong. That's the same shit they did. Right? Like, they, like they, they had their moments of doubt of like, oh, this isn't gonna... Right? Whatever. Who cares? But, motherfucker has seen him take down multiple warlords of the sea. It's like, yeah, but this one's an emperor. But it's but like you know your cat like even if you don't think you know that you're gonna be fine, right? Like if I personally at least would think that uh you know I don't think he'd lost a fight up until that point because he had just gotten off a of dress rosa going to Whole Cake Island. So like you just watch Luffy show the fuck up and destroy an entire country's way of life and you're like no 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 he can't he can't deal with this he was just so annoying and like he doesn't talk about it either he just beats the shit out of him and it's another thing that annoys like if he if, i don't know communication like that annoys the shit out of me anyway this is the end of the episode i hope you're enjoying this uh december 1st or whatever uh only another 30 days more of this this fun jazz and i hope nothing uh went wrong in the recording of this or i'm gonna be uh incredibly sad but we'll start with the typhoon vortex next episode